Hey, what's up YouTube, Mike Parcel here. In today's video, I'm gonna take you into the Parcel Zone, basically walk you through my thought process in the hand that I played recently at Zones Live. Let's get into it. So in this hand, I mean, I'm not really thinking at this point, but I raise it to 40 with Aces and Derek. I haven't like played as much as with other people on the show, three bits to, to 150 and I mean, at this point, you guys already figured out that sometimes I have access to whole cards of my opponents. Um, I, I cannot exactly tell you how I do it, but I know that he has King of Diamonds. Um, unfortunately, I don't know the other card. I really don't know. And fuck. I mean, Big J, what's wrong, man? Anyway, um, I forbid it to 350. Uh, yeah, keep being an Andy as a king. I will hear from him if he has, like, if he wants to play his ace king aggressively, but I don't know the other card yet. It could be a suited king, it could be ace king, you know, e3 bet. So probably either strong or weak. Um, that's what people do. Anyway, we go to the flop, which is 965, which is typically a board where I usually would represent the overpair. Um, here, I think uh, because he has the king of diamonds. Uh, I want to check it back and keeping in hand he, he he wants to hit this king so i can make some more money off of him um so i check back turn is the nine of diamonds now he bets for 525 um if he had checked i would have put in a little fetal bet here on the turn because first of all like yeah you could have king with another diamond and he was certainly continuing but he could also have two over cards and then i have to put in some small feeler bets i like this kind of bets because then people call more often so here as i said i still don't know this like card but he bets now he didn't check uh, 525 and huh, i already told the table i'm not gonna fold tonight so how i'm gonna fold aces there's no way i, I can fold here at this point so i called it 525 um I don't think he has like many king nine or something like that and and so well we got to the river which is a five diamonds so now king five gets there but it could be only king five offsuit huh <laughs> i mean you know yeah, that's just something i learned over the last six years that i've played so when um when there's a five of diamonds in the board he can no longer have the card so now what i put him on is maybe got there with you know a king Deuce, king three, king four suited type of hand, or maybe he still has a king with the king of diamonds, and then he would have a bluff. So now I see him putting in a out of bet of nine seventy five, and I mean this, this is a tough one, hmm. and you know a lot of wine has been flowing this session, uh, uh, so it's like hard to make a decision here. Um, I decided to go for simple fold on the river here. I, I, he didn't really look that weak to me. I didn't couldn't really pick up on any tell this time. Usually I'm pretty good at this. I mean, I've been playing for 16 years and, um, you know, just making money off poker. Uh, but this time I couldn't really, you know, determine that he was weak. So I just gave him more credit for having the king three, king deuce, king four suited, not the ace king as a bluff. I didn't really think he would do that. So, but also I want to show you guys something. You know, I, I also, when, when I basically get home, I just do this stuff sometimes. And you know, a lot of haters out there, they've seen like, I, I would never do peel. They're wrong. You know, sometimes I do these sims and, and watch my play because I guess, again, I don't always have access to both whole cards, so I cannot make perfect decisions. So sometimes when I just have access to one whole card, a fucking RFID, man. Um, then I have to guess about the second hole card. It's pretty damn hard because for the last 14 years before, you know, 2018, I had to guess both hole cards. Now, you know, sometimes I still have to guess one. Uh, that's that's not easy, guys. And yeah, so my range here, I put in aces, right? But then I put in some other hands, which I'm gonna get to uh, just in a second. And then for out of position, as mentioned before, I think most likely he has a king, deuce, king, three, king, four of diamonds, or ace, king with the king of diamonds. These are just uh, three combinations. Anyway, if you plug in these ranges and you know the board, the starting pot, effective stacks, some bet sizes and race sizes and whatnot. Um, we come on over here, sim ran pretty quickly this time. Uh, and our opponent uh, bets 900, which is really consistent here with the solve strategy and 
um, versus this 900, which he chooses most of the time. I have, I can either call fold arrays and looking at my specific combination here, uh, I should be folding every time if I don't have the ace of diamonds. So, you know, now I already gave you some value, you learned something, this example, you can send me a message at Mike Postle on Twitter if you wanna have access to the sim. Um, you know, I can send it to you so you can learn something. Um, so yeah, folding with these and then sometimes folding with my hand actually here as well, but then I can call a raise as well. So hmm, um, calling is obviously the best option if you think that your opponent is mostly buffing and raising would be actually turning your aces into a bluff and trying to make something fold. Um, and then, you know, I put in some of these other hands, uh, his queen and ace of diamonds, so I could have the not flush. So because I have the blocker, I could just, you know, move him all in. <laughs> and you know, then I usually start laughing when I put these guys all in because they're never calling when I laugh. I mean, they just never do. That's that's what I found out. And I just ship in on their faces and, and, and they can't do shit. I mean, I know one of their whole cards usually, I, that means that they're weak and then, and you know, they're capped and I can just exploit them that way. It's just hilarious, man. I, I was so having so much fun in the last two years. It's unbelievable. Um, so yeah, I could raise it to 4,700, but then I'm not, I wasn't really sure about Derek. As I said, I haven't played with, with him as much as with other people. So I don't know, is he folding a flush? Maybe I'd have to uh, have to hope. And so, I mean, I went for the fold in the end because I had a hunch that he was like, you know, fairly strong. I wasn't sure that he was 100% calling, but maybe quite a lot. So, yeah, that's that's uh, what was uh, going through the end. Yeah, I, I don't know. I think it was a, a bit marginal. All right. So if you found this um, in you know piece of information useful, definitely like this video, subscribe to the channel, and hit the notification bell so you get more updates from me in the future. And yeah, I want to also show some gratefulness here from the fans out there. Thanks guys for watching this video and hope you guys enjoyed it.